This video will focus on factoring trinomials using the U substitution method. So if we take a look at an example like this, this can be we can use the U substitution method because it's a trinomial. There's one, two, three terms, and if this was gone, we'd have something a little bit more quadratic and form looking. So we're going to let U and you could pick whatever variable you want, but we're going to let u represent the x plus 2. And if we took the x plus 2 out and put a u there instead, then it looks like something we're used to factoring. So I'm going to take the x plus 2 out. So we're going to come back to this later here. So now we're going to factor it just like we've learned previously in this class. So if you're using the method that I had showed you for factoring, we're going to put this in parentheses. And then we're going to multiply our a and our c. So our a and c is negative 12. And we make our list 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. And we have to pick which numbers would multiply to negative 12, but they have to add to negative 11. So if we picked negative 12 and positive 1, so positive 1 and negative 12 would add to negative 11 and multiply to negative 12. Then we're going to ask ourselves, is there anything that can be divided into both of those? No, so it's going to stay 3u plus 1. And is there anything that can divide into both of these? Yes, 3. So it will become u minus 4. Okay, so now that it's completely factored, then we're going to bring in the x plus 2 again. So we're going to take the u's out because u equals this. So we're going to put it back in now for u. And we're going to simplify. So there's a 3 in front of the u, so we're going to put the 3 in front of the parentheses. And then we have the plus 1 here. And we're going to distribute this. So this is 3x plus 6 plus 1. That would make 3x plus 7. So that's what we're going to have in that parentheses. And then over here we just have x plus 2 minus 4, so these parentheses can go away. We don't have anything in front of this u like we did in the first one here. This one had a 3u. This one doesn't have anything in front, so there's nothing to distribute. So we can put the positive 2 and the negative 4 together, and we would get negative 2 when we combine these. So this is our factored form of this. Now, the other way to do this without the u-substitution requires a lot, more, a lot more work, in my opinion. You would have to foil all of this, and, or multiply all of this, simplify this whole entire problem. So what I mean by that is we would have to do exponents first, and we would have to figure out what x plus 2 times x plus 2 is. Which, when you do x plus 2 times x plus 2, you'll end up with this as your final simplifying um, polynomial, and then you bring down the 3, and then we're going to have to distribute the 3 okay, now we're going to come up here and do this now, so we're going to distribute here, so we'd have a negative 11x and a negative 22 and then, then we're going to drop this negative 4 down, so now we're going to combine like terms so we have our 3x squared and then we have our 12x and negative 11x, that's positive x. And then we're going to combine the 12, the negative 22, and the negative 4, which is negative 14. So now after doing all of that work, now we're going to take this, and that is not factored. Remember, factored means it looks like this. We have something times something. So now we're going to have to take the 3x squared 
plus x minus 14, and now we're going to have to factor that. So the u substitution method would be easier because then we don't have to simplify it all out to then just factor this. So now to factor this, we would take the 3x and put it in parentheses. We're going to multiply a and c together. And we're going to make our list of factors. And we need to pick the ones that we'll add to make this positive 1 here. So if we pick 6 and 7 and we make the 6 negative and the 7 positive, then that combination would multiply to make negative 42 and add to make 1. And then we're going to check and see, is there anything that can divide into our numbers that are paired? So I know that 3 goes into both of those, so it becomes x minus 2. And that nothing other than 1 divides both of those, so it's just going to stay the same. And now we have this. This is our factored form. And now keep this in mind, this x minus 2 times this 3x plus 7, which is our answer. If we go back to the first way we did it, that is the same thing we get from doing the u substitution. Okay, so let's take a look at one more example here. So if we take a look at this problem here, we could simplify that all out and then factor, or we can take the x plus 1, and, or sorry, the y plus 1's out, and we can let u represent that, so that way we don't have to worry about um, simplifying all of this. So instead we would have 3 and take this out and put a u there in its place. Take this out and put a u there in its place. And now we factor this problem which looks a lot nicer. So using my method of factoring we're gonna put this in the front of the parentheses. Whoops, u. And then we're going to multiply a times c, so this is a and this is c, so we get 6, so we're going to list our factors of 6, and we have to pick the ones that will add together, positive 2 and positive 3 would make c, which is positive 5, so we're going to put that in our parentheses. And then check and see if anything can divide into these two. No, so it stays. But here we could divide both of these by 3. So it becomes u plus 1. So now we have it in factored form. And we let u represent, this u right here and this u here represents the y plus 1. So we're going to go back and plug in y plus 1 and then simplify all of this. So if we simplify all of that, there's this 3 in front of the u that we need to distribute. So we get 3y plus 3. Then we also have this plus 2 though. So that would become 3y plus 5 when we combine the like terms here. And then over here we have y plus 1 plus 1 right here. And we can combine these right here to make y plus 2. And we have our factored form. Okay, let's go ahead and try this one here. So... First thing when I see this, it's a trinomial, but this kind of looks weird. So it would be much easier if it was not x minus 2 squared, but instead u squared and 8u. So I'm going to let the x minus 2, I'm going to replace it and make a substitution for momentarily. And I'm going to plug in a u here and a u here. And now I'm going to factor this. So I'm going to put 5u in the front of the parentheses. And then I'm going to multiply a, which is 5, and c, which is negative 4. And then I'm going to make my list of factors. And I need to pick which ones that would combine together 
to make this positive 8 here, which is B, our B value there. So if we pick positive or negative 2 and positive 10, they would multiply to negative 20 and they would add to 8. So in my parentheses, I'm going to put negative 2 and positive 10. And then I need to see, can I divide the 5 and the 2 by anything? No, so it stays. Here I can throw out a 5. And now we are going to substitute the u back in. We want to get it back because there were originally x's. We need to get the u out of there. So we're going to take the x minus 2 because that's what we let u equal. And we're going to replace it with x minus 2. So there was a 5 next to the u, so I need to multiply this. So I would have 5x minus 10, and then bring down the, neg the minus 2 there. So we would have 5x minus 12 when we combine these. Okay, and over here we would have x minus 2 and then plus 2, which this makes 0. And then we have our factored form. We could also write this like this. Either way is correct.